Hey guys, it's Rhonda, and today we are inside of ChatGPT. Uh, they recently uh, had an update. They released uh, GPT Image 1.5. If you notice over here on your left-hand panel now, there is an Images tab. So you can create images right in here, and it comes with some styles that are already preset for you or you can just enter a prompt. So I thought we'd give it a try and see how it does. We'll compare this to uh, the new Nano Banana Pro that came out not too long ago. I'll run a prompt here in GP 1.5 and I'll also run it in Nano Banana and we'll see which one does a better job. So I'm over here in our Creative AI prompt library and we have this image here just a cowboy christmas kind of thing and i'm going to grab that prompt and i am going to pop it in here to gpt and paste that in and let it do its thing and then i'm going to come over here to recraft and i am going to grab nano banana pro and i'm going to paste in the same prompt and we'll see how that does. We'll see what kind of, who does it better. All right. So we'll give these just a minute to generate. ChatGPT 1.5 is a little faster than it used to be, but it still takes a little bit for it to generate. So there is ChatGPT 1.5. I do like that, how it came out. I'm gonna paste that over here so we can compare it to the Nano Banana Pro. Now I might have forgotten to tell it what aspect ratio I wanted it in, but we will see. And this is Nano Banana Pro right here. And I honestly, you know, it. I really like the ChatGPT 1.5 version a little better. I just think it blends a little better around the edges and I just think it captures the vibe of that prompt a lot better than Nano Banana Pro did in either one. Although I do like this one. If this was a t-shirt design, I would absolutely take the Nano Banana Pro, uh, this one right here, the round. But if I was doing say like a greeting card or something like that, I would go with the chat 1.5. So let's go grab another prompt, see what, just anything at random. I'm going into the food and drinks category. And this is a little bit of a humorous one, the fry me a river. So let's paste that in here and let's see if there's anywhere I can, can I tell it what, I do not see a place to tell it what aspect ratio I want it in. So let's just send that through. And we'll come over here and we will ask Nano Banana Pro again. Let's find that here. And we will have it generate an image for us. Let's zoom out so we can see things a little better. And I'll put the Nano Banana right over there. And let's see what GPT 1.5 gets gives us. And again, it is still slower than some of the other models, but it's a whole lot faster than it used to be. So let's copy this and paste it over here so we can take a look at these together. And I have to be missing a setting somewhere. I'm going to have to take a look at that. And I'm getting all of these. Uh, and I really did want them just where... Now this one too, I like Nano Bananas, but I really like GPT 1.5 a little bit better. The text is brighter. I just think that one looks a lot nicer. That's, it's all going to be personal preference, but that's where I'm at right now. That's what I'm feeling. So let me come over here quick. Let me come in here to images and I am not seeing any place to tell it an aspect ratio. So I'm gonna try, here we are in our retro vintage and boho section of the prompt library. We'll grab something out of here real quick. All right, we have this rockabilly digital paper prompt. Let's grab that, we'll copy it. 
and and you can add a reference photo if you want but I don't need that right now so I'm just gonna send that in and again I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing nano banana pro and we'll move things around so we can take a look at these see which one does a better job all right that looks pretty good I like that see what nano banana pro comes up with for this image now this one it did do in the square aspect ratio it may have just been all right and that is nano banana pro let's zoom in a little I like both of them but again I I think I really like GPT 1.5 a little bit better colors are brighter I think now this one you do have some this is this one would be hard. I, I really like both of them. What do you guys think of the Rockabilly one? Which one did you like better? Let me know in the comments. Drop them down there and tell me which ones you liked better. And let's just go in here. I'm in floral and nature. I want to do some florals because let's just see how these come up. This was from Mid Journey, the original image you see here. So let's give this a go in both GPT 1.5 and Nano Banana. And again, we are still using, we're just sticking with Nano Banana Pro for this. Put that under here so far for t-shirt designs i would go with nano banana pro for the first one for the christmas cowboy because that just is a better image for a shirt but other than that i think number two is definitely gpt 1.5 the rockabilly digital paper that's a toss-up that one is really hard and let's copy this and paste it over here so we can compare these side by side. And let's zoom in so we can see these better. Overall, I, I really like the way GPT 1.5 did this one, but I, I wanna say the colors are a little nicer maybe in Nano Banana Pro. It didn't cut anything off. This one, you see some of these drips are extending beyond our image. That is typically an easy fix in another program. It wouldn't be bad at all to fix that. But I think I still like GPT 1.5 better for this image as well. Let's do one more and see what we get. Let's go back in here to our holidays and seasonal, or let's see, whimsical and quirky. A lot of these prompts are a little different and some of these are, you just never know what you're gonna get. So this original image here was done in Mid Journey and these are the kind of images that Mid Journey excels in. So we'll see how good these two do. So let's paste this in here for GPT and then let's come over here and paste it in and see what Nano Banana gives us. And we will compare these two now. So overall, right now I'm thinking, in my opinion, I'm thinking GPT 1.5 is winning based on the prompts we've used tonight. Now with a different set of prompts, it could very well be a different turnout, a different result. But based on the ones we've used tonight, now this one, uh, we'll see. I'm not so sure. Now, let's see, let's zoom in here and take a look at both of these. All right, the Nano Banana Pro added an oil painting background that I'm not real fond of, but at the same time, I like the dogs better on Nano Banana Pro than I do on GPT 1.5. I'm not a fan. It's still a really cute design, but I still like these dogs over here on Nano Banana Pro better. So even though it gave me a funny background, I still think I like Banana Pro version a little bit better. Let's come in here and do one more from the, these quirky, whimsical style because I am just not, 
I just don't feel like uh, ChatGPT gets this. It just doesn't get this style very well. Let's uh, run one more prompt and let's come over here and do the same and we'll see what we get. So far, I, they're both doing a very good job. It's not that either one of these are bad. They're both doing a good job. It's really going to come down to your personal preference. But in these instances, with these particular prompts, I am definitely liking GPT 1.5 a little better than the Nano Banana. Now let's paste this in here, move it over, and take a look at these. Now this one... I like the florals and everything that it put on here, but I don't think it has the quite the quirky feel that Nano Banana Pro does. And I, I definitely would say for this particular prompt, I like Nano Banana Pro better. It has things a little crooked and not so perfect and GPT-5 just didn't get the quirky vibe that I was going for with this prompt. It's a very beautiful image. It's just not what I was going for. So that's that, guys. I think it's doing a very good job. It is definitely, I think it's a ton better than the last uh, GPT image generator that you just do in your basic uh, chat GPT window. If I would just paste a prompt in here, you get that like, grainy texture. But I do think this is doing a very nice job. It's just you're going to have to try it out and compare it for yourself with different prompts. Uh, I think it did a great job on a lot of these tonight. There's certain styles that it's just not uh, picking up on. Um, while these dogs are you know, striped and polka dotted and bright colors and everything, I just don't think we got the quirky vibe in the dog itself. So that's why I went with Nano Banana for this one. I do like the Fry Me a River from ChatGPT from uh, Image 1.5. I think that came out brighter and just nicer overall. The Cowboys, again, if I was going to use this as a t-shirt design, um, I would definitely go with Nano Banana here, this uh, circular design. Maybe even this one, uh, just because it would be easier to uh, prepare for a t-shirt. GPT 1.5, this I would use if I was creating something like a greeting card or even a Tumblr wrap. This one I would use for, um, I just think it looks nicer. The digital paper, that again is a toss up. That is, they both did an excellent job. It's just really going to come down to your personal preference when it's all said and done. Same way with these uh, florals here with the butterflies. I think uh, Nano Banana Pro did a phenomenal job, but I also think GPT 1.5 did as well. Now the quirky houses, I absolutely think Nano Banana Pro came out on top with that one because it did grab the quirky vibes that we were going for, while uh, GPT 1.5 doesn't really scream quirky to me. It's super cute with the florals and everything like that, but it's just not the quirky vibe that was in the prompt. All right, so there you have it. Uh, we compared a few. I think they both do a fantastic job and like every image generator, I think the, it has its strong suits and its weaknesses. And depending on what you're prompting for, will depend on whether or not you are using that for your image generator. You're getting good images no matter what, but some image generators just do certain things better than other ones. You'll just have to check it out and try it out for yourself with some of your own prompts and decide whether it's something you'll be using on a regular basis or not. I think overall it did a fantastic job. I am usually very partial to Nano Banana Pro, so I was really impressed to see how well ChatGPT Image 1.5 did. All right, 
So let me know in the comments which ones were your favorite. Did you agree with me or did you like the other versions better? And if you have any questions, you drop them in the comments as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I truly appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so you never miss a video. And I hope you have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video.